In that tutorial, you are going to learn how to create a running man animation from a sprite sheet for a game on Android. Note that we will use a sprite sheet that is already set on a res drawable folder. All the magic will be concentrated in the running man animation activity that we are going to create. First, we create the game view implementation that we hold the view and the running man sprite sheet animation logic. So, in the constructor, we create the game view and set it as content for the activity. Now we create the game view class that implements the runnable interface. So we have a thread and we can override the run method. We extend the surface view class. We define the game thread. We need the surface holder. A playing variable will be used as a boolean which will set and unset to indicate if a game is running or no. We define a canvas to draw, to draw on it. We define an object of type bitmap to store the running man sprite sheet. Is moving is a boolean indicating if the man is running or no. We define the running man speed. Here we set 250 pixels per second. We define the initial position for the running man with man x pose and man y pose. We define the frame width and ice for the running man spreadsheet. And then we define the number of frames for the running man spreadsheet. It's eight here. Like you can see in the running man drawable. We define the first frame as the current frame. We use a variable to track the game frame rate. And we use a long variable to calculate the frame per second. We store the last frame change time. And we define a frame length in milliseconds. The frame length is 100 milliseconds. We need to define a rectangle that will be used to represent one frame in the sprite sheet. And now we define we define a second rectangle first we define the constructor of the game view we initialize the holder got from the game view and the paint object We load, we load the sprite sheet for the running man in a bitmap. We use the decode resource static method from the bitmap factory class. And then we choose to scale the bitmap to the correct size. We need to do this because Android automatically scales bitmaps based on the screen density.
et override the run method while the game is playing. First, we capture the current time millisecond in the start frame time time variable. We update the frame. And then we draw frame. We calculate the frame per second. And then we can use the result to time animations and more. Now it's time to define the update method. Everything that needs to be updated goes in that method. In a more complex game project, we will have dozens of objects in the update method. We will also do other things like collision detection, for example. So if Running Man is moving, we move him to the right base on his target speed and the current frame per second. If the running man is out of the screen horizontally, we update the Y position and we put the running man on the left of the screen. If the running man is out of the screen vertically, we update the Y position to the top of the screen. Now we define the method to be used to manage the current frame for the running man. We get the current time and we only animate if the running man is moving. So we must change the current frame for the next frame. And we restart to the first frame if we reach the last frame. And finally, we update the left and right values of the source of the next frame on the sprite sheet. Now we need to define the draw method to draw the newly updated scene. We must be sure our drawing surface is valid with the isValid method. First we lock the Canva to be ready to draw on it. Then we draw the background color. Here it's a white background color.
Now we need the second rectangle to set position for the current frame to be drawn. So create the second rectangle now. So we set the position for the current frame to drone. For that we use the man x position and the man y position and the frame width and the frame ace. So we can manage the current frame and we draw the current frame on the canvas. To draw everything on the screen, we just need to unlock the Canva and post. We need to define a pause method used to stop playing the game. So inside, we set the playing variable to false. and we try to join the game thread. The resume method is used to resume the game and playing. Inside we must start the game thread and set the playing variable to true. True. We start the thread. So, like we want to start moving the running man only after a click on the screen, we must implement the untouch event handler. Note that we stop the running man when user clicks on the screen and if the running man is moving only. So we use the event, the motion event and the get action method. If we have an action down event, it indicates the player has touched the screen, so we invert the is moving variable. Last step is to implement the unresume and unpause method of the main activity to resume the game view or pause the game view. Now it's time to fix a little bug. We use the rect f class. And now it's time to test the running man animation on the Android emulator. OK. So we wait during the cradle build. It can take some time.
look at the code, the draw method, draw only if the surface is valid. And show a message if it's not valid. So the APK is installing on the emulator. To start the animation, we must click on the screen and then click another time to stop the animation. And now you can still restart the animation by clicking on the screen as you want. The running man is running. Great, great animation. So we can increase the speed of the running man you can play with the running man parameters to customize your animation now the running man run 500 pixels by seconds we restart Okay, so he is faster, like you can see. You can also change the fragments millisecond, and we must to change the from with and from ace. To increase the size of the running man. So we can run and see the changes. Click on the screen. Yes, the running man is bigger. The animation is smooth. Last thing to change is the running man speed. And now you have a great animation, very useful for game Android. Click stop the running man and click another time to run. That's all.